come to Goodwill and see what we can find. This location is in Des Moines, Iowa. We took a little overnight trip. $1.79 a pound. Here we go. I was here for about an hour and a half and I'm typically looking for vintage or really anything to make a profit. This at first that was kids. It's actually a vintage 90s or maybe even 80s coat for a dog. Um, yes, please. That would only get me 20, 30 bucks, but it's so cute. I can't leave it behind. Here, I'm trying to find a tag. I love this like almost popcorn knit sweater. Even though it's summer, I really don't mind. This looked super cheap, that blue sports bra. It was actually Pink Victoria's Secret. I used to sell that brand years ago. Not really anymore unless it's a very substantial piece. Here's an Iowa Hawkeyes uh, blanket that I showed some wear. I'm just trying to, again, dig with one hand. It's a lot harder than it looks. I love tie-dye. Seriously, I don't know what my deal is, but I love it, especially those colors, but I think there's Lauren Conrad or some really cheap brand. Oh my goodness, look at this print. At first I'm thinking, oh, it's like a reproduction. Oh, it's a halter, even better. They're very trendy right now. 70s, handmade, get in the cart. Thank you. Do you see what I see? Here we just have a pair of teaks. They're even still together, shockingly, in a picked over bin. As you can see, there are scuffs. It's like a nude, maybe a very soft, soft pink, but you know what, some leather balsam. We'll clean that up. I do always check to make sure the sole is still attached. I have sold a pair with a little ding at the tip of the toe, but it was fine. Now here, take a glance at the beautiful coming into downtown Des Moines. It is a small downtown, but it is still beautiful with the clouds. I just had to share this moment. It was a beautiful day of shopping. The Benz was kind of a bust. So this is my favorite thrift store in Des Moines area, St. Vincent Thrift. There are actually two locations. This is the one that is, believe, closer to downtown, and I scored some decent things in here. So let's go see what I found. Here I start in the linen section. Um, some blankets I would have gotten if they were a little bit cheaper, but again, I am very cheap. I like to buy low, sell high. Oh, baby blankets get me every time, especially these vintage. This is H Hobby, which stands for Holly Hobby, handmade uh, children's quilt. $1.99 is like an amazing price. I would have paid up to $5 for that. I unravel it here in a second. Look at this, sitting right there pretty for me. These were about $2 a piece, and I have sold the exact same style before. I believe these are about 80s. Uh, Lucite, it's like a fake onyx looking for the bathroom, as you can see my sales. These do pretty well, and they sold pretty quickly in the past. Okay. I had to Google lens this donkey. It's actually a cigarette dispenser. It's so cool, guys, a dollar. And the comps look to be pretty good. Red tag is what they've just put out this week, which is pretty much everything on these shelves. Now, here's some vintage chalkware knickknacks but i hate when they put the tags and you can't see the brand these were not worth it i did check on google lens however here is one that has solid comps for around 50 dollars i was at this location for about two and a half hours so here's just a glance of me going through the racks and this is very tedious it's not like i'm just browsing here we find a pendleton men's button down but i'm very very selective with this brand although it retails for a lot it does not necessarily resell i it, it's all about the styles their board shirts do well and certain vintage pieces here i find a vintage plaid i believe this is wrangler yeah this is an old wrangler tag i was kind of excited to find this i like the color the pearl snap all of it so I'm just inspecting to make sure all the pearl snaps are there. Obviously, I cannot replace those. I do not want a project as this will flip for like 30 to 40. It all really kind of depends. And there you go. The pocket flap seam is off. So that was a project I had to pass. So then I moved to the shoes. And while there were quite a few, 
They were very well loved. Look at those. Somebody actually wore the sole completely through. The prices on shoes were significantly higher than everything else in the store, which is perfectly okay. Now these kind of gave me total Gucci vibes. And they said, I believe made in Italy. The There was no branding. They looked almost possibly vintage, but the wear on the back, do you guys see? It was almost completely split through. Very well worn. Those were high quality shoes, but again, I'm not gonna sell them in that condition as I'm pretty specific. Those give me Pendleton vibes. Unfortunately, they were generic and hokas oh look at that looks nice on the top and then you flip it over look at the sole that is like you're gonna go sliding those are the shoes to get this was kind of a disappointment in this area same with the women's i really did not find a single thing but i did not give up hope as i found items in other departments so here i'm just scouring to see and i did find a bolo brand these, I'm trying to think what brand these were. I liked them, but I believe those were knockoff. No names. I do find a shoe brand that depends on the style. It's called Allen Edmonds. They are men's typically dress shoes. Certain Oxford Derby styles can do well. Here is what the Allen Edmonds look like. This is a newer style. Do not believe this one is nearly as desirable as some of the others that I'll put up on the screen for you to keep an eye out for, I believe. But yeah, this was kind of a disappointment. I did not even check comps while I was in the store. So while I'm editing this video, I wanted to make sure to give you accurate information. I did look up this style. It's called the Voyager. Now, at first when I saw the asking price, I was kind of kicking myself in the butt for not picking these up. However, when you go to um, check the solds, which is sell-through rate, it's very important. So I go to condition used, there's apparently 20 used, and you click on sold, this shows the last 90 days, and there's actually zero. So these have 0% sell-through rate. Now, this gives you guys an idea of what styles to look out for, the cap toe, Oxford and Brown pre-owned so like a good solid 60 the penny loafers are only going for about 30 so yeah style is key now these um, monk strap loafers as you can see they were asking 160 or best offer I don't know what they actually sold for but look for certain styles always always check oh there we go there's the voyagers now they were asking 80 and they sold for best offer so i should have possibly picked them up i don't remember what they were asking but as you can see they did sell for 50 so oops even a veteran seller can make mistakes here is their purse section i spot a bear bradley and this one looked a little bit different the price was pretty decent and as you see, I learned something new. This is not just a Vera Bradley, but this is a collaboration with Harry Potter, which makes it a bolo. Um, unfortunately, my happy dance ended pretty quick. There is almost a hole and there is fraying on the fabric there. It's in pretty rough shape. All right, so here we are. It's almost dark and I'm gonna show you guys. This is from St. Vincent Thrift. Uh, a whole $28 great scores as you saw now this is super unique um, I'll try to show you guys you simply lift up its tail and a cigarette butt comes out and they get stored up here like so so this is pretty unique, and like I said, I think it's about $50. Nice score there, a dollar and a 50. What other treasures? I'm gonna shove some things down in here. I did not film everything. Um, I was hoping this was my size. I hardly ever find Viore, and this is a cute like bralette slash crop top. It is, I think, a small, or I'm sorry, Viore. I mean aloe. Um, and it was only $4. Um, I have no idea, but you can see it has a little outline under the bust. It's very, like, 90s style. This little thing that just fell on the ground. Um, I believe comps are about 50 for her. Very dainty and detailed. Oh my goodness, look at that. 
um, Italy. Interesting. And she was $3. Here we have some French. Um, I think these are like 70s era based off of the back. This is not actual metal. I wish it was. It is just plastic, but very French. These do appear to be hand painted, but um, I'm guessing these are prints. Little mini French prints of outdoor scenes with a couple of people, a city scene, and a nature scene. I'm going to sell these as a set. They were 79 cents a piece, and I will probably list them for $30 to $35. As you can see, the back, um, that's why I believe it's about like the 70s era, and since they are plastic. And then I did already show you guys these. This is $1.50. I've previously sold that for $30 on Etsy. And I have this trash can as well that I've previously sold, I think, for $50 or $60 on Etsy. So what I say, 30, 80, 130, 160, 210, 210. I'll just say like 230, maybe 20 bucks for that. 230. And then this cute baby quilt. Well, not really baby quilt. Um, I'm going to unfold it for you guys. Um, I'm not going to wash it because it is so dainty and I will fix it. Got it upside down. Pastel Holly Hobby. Um, it, it's not the traditional side bonnet. It's, she's on a rocking horse and what I actually really like about this piece is that she is riding the horse and the guy is actually on it backwards. So I like that the female is in charge. And this was, again, a whole $2. And I'm not sure what I'll list it for. I do have to check comps. Moving on to our second bag, which I do not know that I filmed any of this, actually. Ooh, oh, as I'm falling over. Okay, this is obviously adorable. Care Bears Lionheart, I believe. And this is actually a needlepoint gorgeous um, with the very dainty lace and bows in this ditzy floral red ruffle trim and oh my goodness they did the back it is stunning in beautiful condition most likely 80s or 90s a dollar <laughs> you cannot go wrong uh, this one also I got it was a dollar again needlepoint very um, intricate as well very well made with like that velvet back a dollar this one I'll probably ask 30 for I know this haul is I'm not going to be doing these dresses justice so this is a 90s maybe late 80s Liz Claiborne certain tags green tags were a dollar I hardly found any but I, I found two maybe three and this is just a simple sleeveless black dress, but it is belted. I do pretty well with these belted dresses. It's just very classic, timeless capsule wardrobe, basic, minimalist, all those keywords. This one is a little bit more fun. It's a flapper style black dress. Um, again, this one was also a dollar. Has the bow detail, which you can't really see. <laughs> oh my lighting's horrible um I don't even know what the tag says something New York dry clean tag again that was a dollar they were asking eight it did not sell but what I loved about this dress is that it has fringe so it's a very flapper style but with a bow on the chest I thought was very on trend right now here is an adorable skirt 90s maybe y2k and it has the seams very western cowgirl with the ruffle um hem it's pull-on style i paid four dollars for it it's by willow ridge what size is this it's 
it's medium. So I will model this one and I will probably ask 40 to 50. The last piece is a gunny sax. This is a formal, I believe this is blue, like a midnight blue. It could be purple, I can't quite remember. 90s, maybe Y2K. Jessica McClintock for gunny sax. Strappy, formal dress. I think it is stunning. I did pay, it was marked $6, but it's 25% off of $6. So 60 cents is 10, $1.20. So I got like $1.50 off with the sale. But this is stunning. Gunny Sax doesn't go for what it was. So I will probably only list that for $80. I have over been overpricing my Gunny Sax in the past. And um, it takes them forever to move. So let's move on to the Goodwill Outlet haul. Okay, so here we have a religious picture. This is vintage and it... I have one similar to this. It moves. Um, the people move. But again, I can't think of what it's called. Um, religious art, I think, does tend to do pretty well. I have a deer vintage beater lac blanket of two deer running. I will put someone else's picture up here in the corner because I'm losing daylight and I need to get this video filmed and edited. Okay, so here we have a, I literally was getting ready to check out and there's a person behind me and I wasn't quite sure, but this is a gorgeous retro print belted dress with a cute flutter ruffle sleeve. And it looked like a reproduction, but I grabbed it on a whim and after I checked it out, I'm like, oh, knowing my luck, it's probably Shein or whatever. No, this is true vintage probably 70s era based off of the floral and it is handmade as most of the vintage clothing was so this is gorgeous i'll probably list it for about 50 dollars has the elastic waist i'm guessing it's like a modern small here we have a very maximalist 90s colorful dress in like a watercolor floral um I, these colors together are just beautiful like an abstract watercolor. And Jessica Howard, 90s tag. Probably list that one for $40 as that seems to be the price that they typically go for. This one I was um, on the fence about. I did look it up. This brand tends to do pretty good. Rainbow Joe, this is, it's Hawaii, but it's made in Indonesia, um, but it's also a girl's dress, so it may not go for as much. And I'm losing daylight. Um, I will put a filter on this to brighten it up for you guys. But it is just a red tropical print. It feels like rayon dress for a girl. It will probably only get me $25, but that's okay. Next, we have some Y2K block sandals. These are actually wood, which is fantastic. And they are by Mia. They are a size 10. I did check the underside of the leather. It's probably vegan leather. To make sure it's not peeling um, square toe. I did make that mistake about a month ago where I got shoes where the, um, the sketchers when I showed in the hall where it was peeling. I, I showed that little cute 80s doggy coat. Um, I showed that 70s vintage halter dress. I showed you the teaks that need a little TLC. They will probably realistically only go for about 40 bucks. But here are some Vibram um, toe shoes. I for five finger toe shoes. I forget what they're called. These sell consistently for me for 40 bucks. Um, I typically find them in like a gray color. These are white, gray, and green. Nice condition. Again, they sell like within a week of me listing. Guess I'm, I'll get a, like 35 to 40 for these. This one, I couldn't pass up. It, it's just a very cute vintage cheerleader sweater, like a chunky knit. Um, what was the Wildcats? Were they EHS? I just figured this was a pretty um, standard generic sweater that um, 
hopefully somebody can love again. Again, it's it, it's clean. I, n I don't see any peeling. Very high quality, and so I'm hoping I can find a new home. Um, I have no idea. I had to save it. This should be about thirty dollars. It is a cruel kit um, for baby blocks, and I love selling cruel like finished artwork. This is completely sealed. Otherwise, I would not have gotten it. I found two pairs of 90s slash Y2K boots, and I really was hoping to find the second set and could not. They're by report, um, almost like a lug sole. Again, this may this video may not. Here we have some napkin ring holders. These are actually interesting. I think I can get like $25 for these. They're um, like a colored metal, just really quirky. Kind of reminds me of Pier 1. Here we have a Vera Bradley wet bag. Um, this has a really cute vibrant print. And it is plastic lined, perfect for a wet swimsuit or whatever you want to put in there that may leak. Last but not least, we have an Adventureland crew neck for Des Moines. And... I believe this is from like the 90s and I'm hoping to get 40 bucks for this. Thank you for my haul. I hope you enjoyed my content. I may have to refilm this because it's not even focusing, but if I am able to salvage this footage, thank you for sticking around and I will catch you in my next video.